Hi, David Gerard here. With the coronavirus pandemic reaching new heights and numbers of deaths and infections, I thought it would be interesting to see how illnesses were treated in the past. So I'm in Guthrie, Oklahoma, where there's the Oklahoma Frontier Drug Museum to look at some of the treatments and medications that were used in the past. So the building that it's in is the Gaffney Building and the Oklahoma Pharmacy Heritage Foundation purchased it to house the museum in. But oddly enough, that building was the um, site for one of the first pharmacies. It was a pharmacy in the past. Yeah, yeah. The one that F.B. Lilly, the one that had the first certificate, that was his pharmacy. Now, at, at the museum, what do you find is the most interesting sort of items or on display there? The thing I like to show off when I do get to go up there is uh, there is a ledger that, um, it's an actual ledger that people um, would go into the pharmacy and sign so they could sign out X amount of grams of cocaine in their, you know, and they would put their use as, you know, anesthesia for a cow for some kind of procedure or they could so they could sign out all kinds of interesting things like cocaine, morphine, arsenic, things like that that now <laughs> is totally but I, but yeah they just had to go in there sign it out put whatever reason whether it's legit or not uh -huh. and pay their money and go on their merry way. With the Spanish flu in, in 1918, do you, do you know what sort of things they would have been asking? So I, I did uh, look it up and read a little bit about it. So um, aspirin was one of the main things to get the inflammation down, the fever down. They had another anti-inflammatory called salicin, which is a derivative, I'm sure, of aspirin, the salicylic acid. Um, so that was one of the main ones. They used epinephrine. Um, they even did gave oxygen if, if was, the pulse was low. And interestingly enough, um, quinine was used. So, which I thought was interesting in comparison to the pandemic we're having now with the um, COVID. Uh, Hydroxychloroquine, uh, they say, is a treatment now, which is a derivative of quinine. What kind of drove you to pharmacy? How, how, where, how, where did you get your interest? I don't know because no one in my pharmacy, in my family, is a pharmacist. Oh, right. I decided one day in seventh grade, I told my dad, I'm going to be a pharmacist, and he's like, okay. Did you work in one when you were like in high school? When I was in high school and then all through pharmacy school, I worked in the same pharmacy in my hometown, Kingfisher. And so uh, it was an independent. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I mean, I didn't grow it, grow up in it. I didn't uh -huh. know a lot about it, but it interested me. And so that was my goal. And that's, so I've been a pharmacist for a little over 20 years. <laughs>